Ken Kozarowski. Welcome to Friday Night Friends, and we got a fantastic show for you. We sure do. We got some Class A hoops, Class yeah. B postseason, and some college hoops as well. And that's just the first block. <laughs> All right, we start with the oldest rivalry in the city, Bismarck and St. Mary's. St. Mary's down 13, but starting to make her run. Jackson Ulcer gets into the lane, and we have an 11-point game later off the out-of-bounds play. Ben Schmidt with a fancy dribbling, and then he's just going to pull up, and he buries it. That made it an eight-point game. Now, under 10 seconds left, Schmidt is feeling it. Behind the back dribble and fires. My goodness, a six-point game with the break, 29-23. But the final score was in favor of Bismarck, 57 to 53. Yeah, those demons are gritty. As for the girls' game, we got St. Mary's Abbey Cop doing some dancing, I think. Yeah, but I guess who that's am I to judge? Yeah. My moves aren't much better. <laughs> St. Mary's scored the first two points, then BHS went on a run. Bismarck's Megan Henderson right to the basket. That made it 6 0 run. And then Maddie Steckler using a high ball screen to knock down the open jumper and made it an 8 0 run. And a little later, it's Henderson passing this time. She fans Danny Corsmo for the easy two. That was a 10-0 stretch. St. Mary's called a timeout. The Demons would win 67-59. So St. Mary's unable to get a win after they expended all that energy in that great Mandan game last night. Yeah, that was a really fun game to watch. But now it's time to go to Class B girls basketball, where it's tournament time. And we go down to Flasher for New Salem and Solon. The Sioux are up in the third. Josie White Eagle is left wide open on the wing and she buries the triple to make the game 41-20 Solon. Soon after, New Salem's Jacqueline Persdenek slides over for the help defense and comes up with a steal and she's out in transition, turns inside, pulls up from the free throw line and that's how you complete a nice play. But Solon, just too effective. The drive and kick goes to Astasia Konica. And she connects the three. She had 26 points. Solon wins 63 to 43. Then after a 20 minute break, we had Standing Rock taking on three seed Grant County. And we begin early in the first. Standing Rock opened with some zone defense and Grant County junior Madison Meyer was a fan of that call. She hits the open three for the Coyotes <laughs> first points. A little later, Isabel Boyer collapses the zone all by herself. And the kind bounce here helps her knock down the floater. She led the way with 29. More from the defending champs, Meyer, the pump fake, and another bucket as part of a 13-2 run. Grant County stays in the winner's bracket, 58-31. So those state champs one step closer to defending their title. Hey, can't count them out. All right, what a year they had last year. Let's go to the college level. They can stay at home against Bellevue. We will start early in the first quarter. The Blue Hawks using some sweet passes to set up Michael Van Dahl for the easy hoop. And then Bellevue's Richard Reed shows off his skills. He picks off the pass and takes it the other way. That's an easy deuce. The biggest estate would keep pounding the paint. Van Dahl using some muscle this time. Two more paints inside from the big man. This one in double OT. Latest score we have for you tied at 58. Oh, let's see if they can pull it out a little yeah, bit later in do. the show. As for the women's team, they were trailing by 12 after three quarters, so they turned up the intensity. Lacey Wade slashes to the hoop there for an easy two, but the Bruins answer right back, throwing the ball inside to Alexis Martinez, who does all the rest at the rim. Then they were up by 10 with only a minute late to play, and the Bruins do their best Golden State Warriors impression <laughs> with all of this passing. Looks like nobody wants to take the shot, but eventually <laughs> Jamie Winkler will do it. And that seals the game. So the Blue Hawk women come up short tonight, 68-57. Tough night for them, but they still have time to bounce back. Yeah, they do. They are going to bounce back just like we're going to bounce back. <laughs> we have some more highlights, including day one.